Welcome to a very special video. Today, LDN Wrestling celebrates its 17th birthday. For the last 17 years, we've entertained audiences up and down the country. We were on the Wrestling Channel for two and a half years, making us the longest running show on CV since the days of World of Sport. Today, we speak to past and present wrestlers as we celebrate the birthday of LDN Wrestling. This is London. Yo! We're the Boros Twins, Twins and we just want to wish LDN Wrestling a happy birthday! This is Anne Lee Travis, the 10 time LDN British Heavyweight Champion. I've been with the company for 14 years now, and now LDN has reached its 17th year. And I'd like to wish LDN Wrestling a happy birthday. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear LDN, happy birthday to you. That's right, it is your current LDN world champion, the Jersey Muscle Jock Steve Gipke, and I just wanted to take some time to wish LDN a very, very happy birthday. So I have been rudely interrupted from my workout because apparently it's LDN's birthday. Well, Rex Dangerous doesn't do birthdays. However, I will share for you some of my favorite LDN moments, starting specifically with wrestling at the Queens Theater in New York in the United States. Closely followed by winning the new and unveiled Capital Championship by beating none other than Alan Lee Travis. In fact, scrap all that because everybody knows their favorite memories of LDN wrestling is watching me beat up Alan. This is Frank Reimer down at the allotment. Back in 2003, a young man came to our wrestling school at Dropkicks saying, I don't want to be a wrestler. I'd like to learn to be a promoter. Boy, did he achieve that. Over the last 17 years, he's formed LDN Wrestling and put on some of the best shows in Great Britain over the last 25 years. Today, he's ranked as one of the top promoters in Britain. And now on their 17th birthday, I would like to take this opportunity to wish everyone at LDN, all the team and Sanjay Bagger, the owner, the very, very happiest of birthdays. Thank you. I just want to say a big 17th anniversary to LDN and Sanjay Bagger. Um, I've been working with Sanjay from the start. He's a true professional. I've always enjoyed my time working at LDN. I think one of my favourite shows was Grays versus Alan Travis. The crowd were electric that night. And also Clacton when I got attacked from them old girls who, who loved me really. So many more years to come and I look forward to lockdown to coming back to LDN and doing many more shows in front of great fans and for a great promoter. All the best and happy anniversary. Hello LDN Wrestling fans, here is Dan Main talking to you from Austria. And in Austria, we say, Alles Gute zum Geburtstag. That means I wish you guys a happy birthday. I hope you and your promotion have many more years to come. It's always great fun touring with you guys and I hope I can be back soon. I hope shows will be back soon. And until then, I wish you all the best. Main out. Hello, this is Johnny Kidd. Firstly, I'd like to wish LDN a very happy 17th birthday. Also, I've had many, many happy memories working for LDN, and three that stick in my mind were winning the Golden Grappler Trophy in 2007, appearing on the first Legend Showdown also in 2007 at Broxbourne Civic Hall, where I was wrestling two former champions on the same evening, those being Brian Goldbelt Maxine, and the former lightweight champion of the world, Johnny Saint. And the third memory was winning the LDN British Heavyweight Championship when I defeated longtime rival Alan Lee Travis. I didn't hold that title very long, but at least I can say I won it. So all in all, those were the memories that stick in my mind, but there's been many, many more over those years I worked for this company. I wish them every success for the future and I'm sure LDN will go on from strength to strength. 
LDN Wrestling Capital Champion, the hotshot Joey Scott here, wishing LDN Wrestling a very happy birthday. 17 years old. How did that happen? Happy birthday, LDN Wrestling. You've always marched to the beat of your own drum, upsetting many, many people along the way. And yet, you still stand strong today. Congratulations. Hey guys, my name is Jay Lamrod and I just want to wish LDN Wrestling a very big happy birthday. I was lucky enough to be one of the trainees there in the early years of the promotion many years ago and I was fortunate enough to compete multiple times at their academy shows. When I look back over that time, one of my fondest mem memories, one of my favorite memories during my time at LDN was being at a show just 18 years old and the promoter Sanjay Bagger being gracious enough to give me the microphone to speak to 200, maybe 250 in attendance. Um, to this day, that will probably be one of my favorite all-time memories in LDN wrestling. So thank you, LDN, and once again, happy birthday. Wrestling. It's Tex Benedict here, the original American import, former British welterweight champion, former LDN champion, and I am here to wish you, LDN Wrestling, a happy birthday. God bless America. Hello there. My name is Jonathan Hardwick, and I'm the Duke of London, and I'm making this video today to wish LDN Wrestling a very happy 17th birthday and also to reminisce on my times with LDN Wrestling and some of my favourite parts there. And to be honest, one of the things I miss the most are you fans that used to come to those shows every single week. <laughs> of course I don't miss you benefit-sucking peasants. I was the star of the show. You paid to come and see me. It's Paul Malin here, a former two-time LDN British Heavyweight Champion and a former three-time Capital Wrestling Champion. And I just wanted to take the time to wish LDM Wrestling a very, very happy birthday. Hi guys, this is John John Tavius, formerly known as JJ in LDN Wrestling. And I'd like to congratulate LDN Wrestling on their 17th year anniversary. 17 years is a long time to be doing anything, especially considering how often they run. So it's quite an achievement. What's up everyone? This is your boy Crusher here. The greatest heavyweight champion ever to grace LDN with his presence. Just want to give a big shout out to all my guys and girls down at LDN Wrestling. It's your birthday. Well, from the greatest LDN heavyweight champ ever, happy birthday. I had a meeting with Sean Herbert and I'm pleased to announce that LDN Wrestling has signed a TV deal with the wrestling team. The memories. Ah, the great memories. Oh, man. One of my fondest memories, of course, that crooked ref, Dave Walker. Dave Walker. When he wanted to challenge me to a match that I accepted, and all because of an old lady in the third row distracted me, Dave Walker wound up beating me. It was via countout, though, via countout. And somehow I have not been able to live this down, this in a gorilla suit which I'm never doing ever again. I mean, for me, it's easily the time that I was able to spend with uh, World of Sport legend Johnny Kidd um, and also getting to meet Miles Sanders and Johnny Kincaid, former European champion, uh, getting to meet these World of Sport legends that I would watch on YouTube. I mean, I have the channel saved. I, I review it constantly for tape study. I loved uh, watching those competitors in the ring, and I, you learn something every day. You can rewatch a match and learn something uh, that you didn't see uh, the first time. I mean, you just are so astute when you're when you're when you're when you're reviewing. At least you should be. Um, and, and for me, uh, Johnny Kidd and getting to not just meet him, but to, to tussle around with him, to grapple around with him. Uh, you know, he showed me things, um, you know, some new things and some things that I had seen before and forgotten.
gets the win. Finley has won the match. Finley has outsmarted him. And in the confusion, he cradled the disorientated so-called superstar and got the win. Favorite memories. Uh, it's hard to pick just one because I was there for so long. But I would say a lot of the stuff that I did enjoy was the stuff backstage, stuff that you didn't see. Pro wrestlers have a lot of banter. So my favorite LDM moment, without a doubt, 2007 Legend Showdown, Johnny Saint versus Johnny Kidd. Seeing two of the best of all time, locking horns one last time in LDM wrestling, truly was, in my opinion, the greatest moment in LDM wrestling history. And there is still one more match of to come. Tonight's main event making his way to the ring right now. The legendary Johnny Saint. And now his opponent, Wolf fans. We were informed earlier this evening, unfortunately, Steve Gray has been having some serious back issues in recent weeks. He'll imitate that, but it was Johnny Saint who originated the move. Oh, very nice. Very nice there indeed. Kid doesn't know whether he's coming or going. Flips him through, hooks the legs. There's the cover. And Johnny Saint scores the second and winning fall there. Defeating Johnny Kid. Two falls to one in this. The main event of Legend Showdown. What a matchup. A standing ovation there. For both men. One of my fondest memories during my time with LDN was when I was the LDN Edmonton coach. I'd convinced Sanjay to join one of my infamous training sessions. And despite everybody's prediction, and much to my own surprise, he survived it without complaining or vomiting. My fondest memory was also my biggest disappointment. As always, next time. Wow, wow, and double wow, what a match. Thank God for Travis, it wasn't a title match, because Carl Craner has had a very impressive debut on his London Eye debut. Yeah, I said debut twice, because what a debut it was. I think some of my favourite times with LDN had to be the TV shows. There was, uh, there was that little bit of excitement, a little bit more adrenaline going, so it, it, it spiced the shows up, everyone was up for it, you know. Uh, and the travelling, I like the travelling to the towns, these different things, you know. And most of all, I've got to say the back, backstage banter, you know. <laughs> there were some funny things happened. Uh, uh, it's good times. Well, fans, what a main event we have got for you this week. We have already seen the LDN Academy Championship successfully defended by Billy Reynolds. We are now about to see the LDN British Championship put on the line. One of the great moments I had in LDN wrestling was basically, I think it was this year, in February, when I was there right before quarantine happened, before the whole corona stuff came about. I did a show at the same venue, I did a show, I had already done a show back in September last year and it was really cool to me to see that the people there actually recognized me and that just showed me how much support your LDN fans give your wrestlers and your promotion, how much you stick together. LDN Wrestling has some of the best fans in the entire world. We can't wait to be back to wrestle there again. <laughs> because the last time we were there, remember? In Northern Ireland for LDN Wrestling, the pandemic hit. We got stuck in Northern <laughs> Ireland, but luckily LDN was so nice and they took care of us. They helped figure out our flights back Super home. Super appreciated. And that was and a funny story. <laughs> can't wait to be back. Yeah. Can't wait to be back. One of my favorite moments for LDN Wrestling was back in 2017 when we went stateside. LDN Wrestling partnered up with Tier One Wrestling to bring you a show in the Queen's Theatre in Brooklyn, New York. For me, to be able to wrestle in New York was a massive moment and I got to go one-on-one -on -one with one of my favorite opponents to date, Jason Carrion. I've not only wrestled him all across the UK, 
but now I'm getting to wrestle him in my dream country to wrestle, New York itself. And Joey Scott. A very popular individual. Rocking the Union Jack vest. Very proud of his native country, the United Kingdom. Trade Center in Manhattan. Drop kick right there from Joey Scott. And, and back on the outside goes Carrion. Not, not keeping very calm right now as Joey Scott almost in my lap here at the broadcast position. And once again! My favorite moment will be about nine years ago where I've won the LDN British Heavyweight Championship for the first time at the Farrakh Civic Hall in Grays. That is the highlight of my career. As the British Heavyweight Championship is set to be defended, and coming to the ring at the moment is the champion himself, John the Don Ritchie, being accompanied by his butler, Ponsipi Pendleton Pratt. And John Ritchie is a ruthless, aggressive, and dare I say sadistic champion, having held on to that championship now for 11 straight months. Coming to the ring now is the official number one contender to the British Heavyweight Championship. This is Travis. He's only been in the grappling game for four years, but what a stellar CV this man has managed to put together. Back in 2008, he won his first significant championship when he won the Capital Championship. He then went on to win the Tag Team Championship, but tonight he could really cap it off by claiming the richest prize in British wrestling, the British Heavyweight Championship. I mean, in the past, I've seen... Oh, wait a minute! Possibly Pendleton Pratt choking the light out of Travis, and Travis's chances of winning the championship are being squeezed out of him. Close fisted punch to the gut. Travis off the second rope. But oh, John Ritchie's caught him again. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Travis down. One, two, three. Oh my, oh my goodness. I, I think we've just seen an upset. For four years, this young man had a dream of becoming a wrestler, joined the LDN training school, and then went on to win the Capital Championship, the Tag Team Championship. And now he has finally secured the richest prize in British wrestling in the form of the LDN British Heavyweight Championship. Now I have some very fond memories of working with Sanjay and the team at LDN Wrestling. When I first started out in the business, LDN Wrestling was the company that gave me the platform to travel the United Kingdom, learning the British style of wrestling in front of such great audiences. Two of my favourites that come to mind, the Princess Theatre in Clacton, and the Margate Winter Gardens. Stepping into the ring with great talents like Alan Lee Travis, Yorgos Christopoulos, and then some world of sport greats, Johnny Kidd and the superstar Mel Sanders. Thank you, LDN, for the good times and great memories. Here he is, the man himself, the self-proclaimed brain of pain, Paul Malin, all the way from Nottingham, England. A man who is known for being a destructive force and also, get this, a man who claims to be the future LDN British Heavyweight Champion by the end of the year. Here he is. The great god himself, Yorgos, former British Heavyweight Champion and most definitely a fan favourite. Straight away, however, that check cannot be made as Paul Malin is in there with the clubs to the back of Yorgos. Right to the eye, the referee warning Paul Malin straight away. Kick from Yorgos, straight into a clothesline. Yeah, I mean, over the years, wrestling for LDN, loads of laughs, loads of laughs. I think probably the most funny thing about wrestling for LDN wrestling is also one of the most regular occurrence. Turn up to a venue... Everyone's doing the ring. Within five minutes, the promoter looks at everyone and shouts, where's my iPad? Where's my keys? And then we have to spend about 10, 15 minutes looking for the keys, which is probably in his pocket, or looking for the iPad, which is probably in the driver's seat of the van. <sighs> 
thank you for all the memories that we've shared and I can't wait to make many more overseas defending the world title successfully again. What is my favorite match in LDM Wrestling? You want to know what Tex Benedict's favorite match is in LDM Wrestling? There are so many to choose from. I could pick from the hundreds of times that I have whooped down on these Travis up and down, left and right, all around the United Kingdom. Or I could choose the time I defeated Chris Wilde in a double elimination tournament to be crowned the new LDM British Champion. But for me, my favorite matches in LDM Wrestling, where I got to stand corner to corner, face to face, man to man, versus Johnny Kidd. Johnny Kidd is, in my opinion, the greatest wrestler of a generation. And anytime I got to test my skills against Johnny Kidd, for me, that was the greatest match I've ever had in LDM Wrestling. Favorite match would be against Jigsaw in Grays in 2015. It helped me shape a lot of what I do in the ring now, so it was a great learning experience. Also, any match I ever have against Crush, always my fave. Alan Lee Travis. That man was the thorn in my side for many, many years. And to be honest, I'd like to mention one of my favorite matches with him. That was the uh, TLC match in Clacton. Oh, I remember that one, that match very fondly. We fought for about half an hour or so going back and forth hitting that bloody stupid idiot with those steel chairs ladders and throwing him through a table well i got thrown through a table as well but he got thrown through a table from the top of a bloody ladder best ldn wrestling matches well easy easy for me it was iron fist clive myers against the great johnny kidd um, Clive hadn't wrestled for over 25 years. I think he was about 70 at the time. He was at the wrestlers reunion. We persuaded him to come over to the Isle of Wight, the Medina Theatre, and he wrestled against um, the legendary Johnny Kidd. What a match. Watch it on YouTube. Easily number one. Hey, from Jamaica, ladies and gentlemen, this is Iron Fist. I've wrestled for LDN for 14 years. I've been in the ring with so many opponents. My favorite opponent will be one of the greatest technical wrestlers in British wrestling today. That's Johnny Kidd. I've wrestled Johnny about 70 to 80 times up and down the country. Always have great matches with him. Welcome LDN fans to the first installment of the London Library. I'll be bringing you classic matches from the LDN archive. And first up this week, we have a match from the unbroadcast final episode of Capital TV. Perhaps the most controversial match in LDN history. 850 fans jam the Wolverhampton Civic Hall to see Travis and Hakan defend the Tag Team Championships against Blondie Barrett and the legendary Kendo Nagasaki. My favourite match for LDN wrestling would be when I took on and beat John Ritchie for the LDN British title at the first ever Legends Showdown at Broxbourne Civic Hall. 
Now, I was chasing the title off of John Ritchie for months. We were wrestling up and down all of the country, and I was always coming up short. And to finally beat him at such a great event, and to be congratulated by legends such as Johnny Kidd, Steve Gray, Johnny Saint, it was such an honour. It's hard to pick a favourite match when it comes to LDN wrestling, because they do so many shows, 170 plus shows a year, you get to wrestle quite a lot. Um, so to be able to pick one match with my whole time with LDN, it's, it's very difficult. Uh, a top one what obviously stands out to me would be my one with Jason in America. But since I've already spoke about that, I'm going to go with uh, another favourite opponent of mine, and that's Joseph Miller. Um, we've had some fantastic matches. I love working with him. We have great chemistry. Uh, but the one that really stands out was uh, a match in Corby we had. Um, it was in a small venue, um, which is unlike LDN to run, but um, during the match, uh, it was just such a great atmosphere from the crowd. They were really biting at everything we did. Um, it, it was one of those, we, we were not expecting it to be as good as it was. And then uh, the Royal Rumble after, where I got my comeback on Joseph Miller after he cheated to win that match, uh, all the lights went out in the venue, the power completely went. Uh, but the, the crowd stuck with us and uh, it was a great a great memory to look back on because even though we were in pitch black darkness and we, we legit could not see anything. I mean, there's no windows in this venue. It was just pitch black. Um, the crowd stayed with us and I got the big win in the rumble and it was a great feeling. Oh, and look who's coming to the ring. It is, of course, the LDN's resident chat, what Maxwell Jacob Friedman. Oh, he rocks a Burberry scarf like nobody else on this earth. And there he is, the capital champion, a man who I think we can all agree we can be proud in. This is Alan Lee Travis, multi-time British champion and the current holder of the capital championship. Off the ropes, ducks the clothesline. Oh, he tried to run the blind spot. It wasn't going to work. Oh, there it is. Half Nelson suplex right on his head. Rolls him over for the cover, he shoots the half, but no! Alan Lee Travis knows a reversal for everything. Oh, wait for it! Titanic! Floats over, two, and Alan Lee Travis got it! There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Alan Lee Travis still capital champion. As a favorite match in LDN wrestling, I'm not really sure where to pick from since I've had only around 10 matches so far. But I got to step into the ring with a few of the top wrestlers, I'd say, of this promotion. So I, got, I was really happy to step into the ring with the 10-time British champion, Alan Lee Travis. That was a lot of fun. Also, stepping into the ring with Johnny Kidd was great. And overall, I think I am the only, yeah, pretty sure only Austrian wrestler who got to wrestle in the UK on Brexit Day for Albion Wrestling. So that was a very interesting experience for me as well. Overall, great memories of Albion Wrestling and I wish you all the best for your birthday and I hope to see everyone in this promotion, outside of this promotion and supporting this promotion very soon. Double ring before you get yourself hurt. Yeah. 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 It's hard to, to pick one match over all of them, you know, we had some great wrestlers brought in, great characters, Mal Saunders, Johnny Kidd, Steve Gray, Keith Meyer, you know, Blondie Barrett, you know, you, know, you, you can't beat quality wrestlers like that, you know, you, you, you learn so much, it's, it's a great learning, learning curve. No, but I, if I had to pin down, I, I've tried, it, it goes to two matches, and that's one against Yorgos, when he took the title off me at the Legend Showdown, which I thought was a particularly good match, and of course when David, Dill, uh, David Deville took the title off me in a cage match in Grays, uh, there was a lot of people involved, and, 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 it, and it, it went really well. We had Luke, Luke Marsden come down, he was referee. Uh, and the pop at the end with the crowd when he finally got the title, uh, I think it was unbeatable, you know.
so good. Deville has won. Deville is the new champion. What a match this has been. Oh, I've had a lot of great matches for LDN Wrestling. Mostly because I've been in them and I'm great. Duh. Um, a few that stick out. My debut match. Isla White against Alan Lee Travis in the main event. I give that boy an absolute kick in. And um, I was surprised on how tough he is. I've got to be honest. Um, wrestling Flip Gordon uh, in America. New York, Queens. That was amazing. That was my first trip into America. And I wrestled uh, the mercenary, the legend that is Flip Gordon. And, uh, yeah, that guy is just super good. And he is absolutely mental. He is one of the fastest, flippiest guys on this planet. Uh, but probably my favourite wrestling match was against the ECW legend that is Sabu. Just for the simple fact that I've always been a Sabu fan. And we absolutely beat the living life out of each other tables chairs the kitchen sink we beat each other silly and that's how i like to wrestle well, here he is ladies and gentlemen all the way from montana in the united states of america ldn's first ever world champion of course ldn has a literary of very successful British champions, but it was Flip Gordon who has the honor of being LBN's first recognized world champion. Off the ropes, he's gonna go for a big dive to the outside, and he drives the point of the elbow right in the square of his heart. He calls to his gods, and there it is, big 450 splash! One of his trademark maneuvers, hugs the outside leg. Ladies and gentlemen, he is still the LDN world champion. During the last 17 years, LDN Wrestling have put on some of the best shows in British wrestling history, combining the finest world of sport legends from the television era, along with the great talent of today coming in from America, from Canada, from Austria, and of course our own homegrown talent such as Alan Travis, Crusher Mason, Joey Scott, Paul Malin, and many, many more in their stable. I personally have been involved and had the honour to work with some of the great legends from yesteryear that roll off the tongue, people like Johnny Saint, Kendo Nagasaki, Mal Sanders, Steve Gray, Lee Bronson, Johnny Kincaid, Johnny Kidd, Brian Maxine, many, many, many more. And they have all been brought out of retirement because of the quality of the LDN shows. They've all agreed to work and they've gone back in the ring and put on some absolutely fantastic wrestling for the public. In 2008, I had the ultimate honour to be introducing probably the greatest legend in all British wrestling history, and that is the wonderful, unforgettable, immortal Mick McManus. <laughs> Mick Mullenhouse, 
ladies and gentlemen. Well, there you have it. 17 years of entertaining you great fans up and down the country. We had legends such as Johnny Saint, Kendo Nagasaki, and of course the late great Mick McManus appear in the ring for us exclusively. But also we've had stars like Johnny Kidd, John Ritchie, who made their names up and down the country, working with our younger talent, who are now leading the way. Stars such as Joey Scott, Ali Travis, Harry Singh, and of course the Austrian Martin Payne. What do we do now? We're on a bit of a break, but don't worry, COVID-19, we hope is coming to an end. And when it comes to an end, we'll be coming back to your town to entertain you again. So on behalf of everybody at LDN Wrestling, thank you for your support, and we'll see you very soon. These are dangerous days.